Welcome to Dr. Nikita Karwa's EduFest Academy. This is a special series titled, Let's Learn Town Planning. Today we will be discussing regional planning, the second part of core area planning, also known as RP. Now that we understand the concept of regional planning, let's explore the objectives and needs of RP. The foremost objective is the optimum utilization of resources in the region. This includes improved patterns of human settlement, ensuring that people are distributed in a way that supports economic activities and enhances their quality of life. Industrial locations, strategically placing industries to maximize efficiency and minimize negative impacts on the environment and communities. As you can see, rural areas can supply raw materials like grain, animal livestock, and other resources and to, to urban factories and industries to improve production and quality. At the same time, it is important to consider whether industries from urban areas can be shifted closer to rural areas. This can lead to the wholesome development of rural areas, providing job opportunities and improving infrastructure and services. This approach promotes the economic growth of the region. Additionally, an efficient and economical rail and road-based transportation network is essential to support these objectives. Ultimately, all these objectives and needs are interconnected. Once you achieve good economic growth with opportunities throughout the region, balancing population and migration within employment opportunities should come as the next objective. Last but not least, a rational land use pattern must be considered for the growth of all sectors, such as mining, commercial, water supply, forest, military, industry, farming, and recreational activities in the region. I hope from this short video, you got a glimpse of what a region and regional planning are. Thank you for watching. To know more about town planning, please follow our channel.